Ladies and gentlemen, the end of the road is here for Attack on Titan, the final season, part three. I have no idea why they split it into three parts, but it's looking like this is really the end of the end. This is the final part. I think they said that we're only going to get two episodes. Each one is an hour. And honestly, to be honest with y'all, I'm probably going to watch it on my own. So it probably won't end up on the channel or on Patreon. So, But we will be reacting to the intro. It's Sim again. We know what they did last year. That rumbling, that rumbling went crazy. That rumbling was probably the craziest song I heard all last year in 2022. But... Let's see what they show us visually. I want to see if I can tell where the end of this story is going to go. So, yeah. Aaron, what are you about to do, man? And I wonder what type of what type of tempo they're going to bring on this song. Because the last one was like rage and just madness. So, let's see what Sam has for us this time. Without further ado, Attack on Titan, the final season part three. The opening. It's called Under the Tree. Where are you at? Where have you been? Okay. Hold up. I gotta turn on I gotta turn on the subtitles. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. Okay, they got captions. For real this song. Sim, under the tree. Alright, let's go. This one is grim. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is from Mikasa's point of view. Yeah, this is from Mikasa's perspective. Yo. Levi already good? What's the time span for the rumbling, though? Yeah. They spazzing on them, though. Oh, this one got some soul to it. And you can tell it's from Akasa's perspective. Jeez. Look at Aaron. Looking at the sky. Zeke gotta go though. Oh. Yo, these lyrics hit indeed. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh my gosh, look at Aaron. Aaron looks tapped. Look at him. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. Okay. 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 So yeah, it's looking like... Yeah, it, I mean, we saw at the end of the last episode that... They were pretty much too late to really stop the rumbling because he already made it across the sea. So that was already chopped cheese. So Marley is done for. They donezo. They waxed. Finito. So it's just a matter of how much of the world is Aaron going to get to? That's the real question here. Damn, this shit just made me sad. Because it's like. I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into this little deep deep bit right here. So my thing is, I'm trying to really understand Aaron, cause I kind of felt where he was coming from when he started the rumbling. To be honest with you, I know a lot of people did, but they were just doing it just cause it was Aaron, cause it was the main character. But from my perspective, what I saw from Aaron was 
there's there's two parts to it, okay? The first part for me with Aaron and why I supported the rumbling at first. One, you're you're running out of time. At this point you only have you have less than what three, two years left to live. And after that it's up for your people. You might never get that opportunity again. No matter, like, it's just fate fell in. All the pieces fell into the right, the right spot with you getting the attack titan and the founding titan. Now, your time was running out. They were going to come and attack your island no matter what. No matter what. So, they were always going to see y'all as a threat. You didn't have time to idly sit by and wait, you know what I'm saying? And the other part to it is, I'm not sure how much of the future Aaron saw when he touched Historia. I, I have no idea how much of the future he saw. But assuming that he saw everything, I feel... So, okay, I'm going to put it this way. Aaron's whole thing was about being free, right? And now that he's seen his entire life play out, I think that he thinks he'll never be free again. He has no freedom left. Because you know every step of your life you're going to take. So it's like, is this really my own free will or is it because I saw that this is what I do? And it's like, maybe if I do something different, that's exactly what was supposed to happen anyway. So it's like, no matter what Aaron does... It was already like he was already locked into this line that he was supposed to walk on. So I feel like that's the reason we see him crying at the end. It's supposed to be a, a metaphor. That's what I believe that, that final shot of him crying was. But um yeah, the lyrics were definitely coming from Mikasa's perspective. Whereas the first one from Sim last year was from Aaron's perspective. Where he was like, he he never wanted to grab the knife. He just wanted to save his people. You know, if I lose it all, slip and fall. Type B. But this one, it's like, dang. Mikasa just, she just, wa she just want Aaron to come back. But he's already too far gone. There's, there's nothing left to do. Because at this point, one, his head was already off his body. Like, his, his head is off his body i don't even think that his body is attached to it because when he and ymir finally came to came to terms the little spinal cord attached directly to his head so i'm assuming if they find a way to defeat aaron he's dead like over with it. there's no healing for him like you can't you can't take him out of the the founding titan's body because it's just the head so yeah, it's like Aaron's on a warpath now. There's no there's no stopping him unless you kill him. Like this is the end for him. Like no doubt about it. The only way I could see me not liking this ending cuz I know a lot of people have been crying and complaining about this ending for a couple years now, but I like come on. I unless unless it's really like Game of Thrones level bad. There's no way. It's probably just you, you. People didn't get what they wanted, but um, the only way I could really see this being bad is if Reiner isn't killed. That's the only thing I cannot let slide, bro. Reiner gotta get killed, cause we um, we all know Aaron is gonna get killed by somebody. There's no way around it. It'll probably end up being Mikasa from the way that these lyrics are playing out. Because if they're from her perspective, I see her playing a pivotal role in the end of this series. Now, my thing is, if Reiner isn't murked by somebody at some point in these next hour-long episodes, I'm going to be heated. That's the only way I, I That's the only way I will not like it. But aside from that, I expect greatness from start to finish. And Isayama, you still got to believe in me, man. I know he personally said he doesn't like this ending, but... Or not that he doesn't like it, he just said he regrets. He regrets it. But hey, I'm all for whatever happens. Aaron is my guy, but if he dies, he dies. That's the way it is, man. People die every day, B. But yo, I enjoyed that intro a lot. I enjoyed that intro a lot. The Sim, it was it was 
we got little glimpses of the little screamo that we saw last year, but for the most part, there was a lot of there was a lot of soul in this one. I'm I'm not gonna hold you. There was a lot of soul in this one, and I like that too. I don't know if they got the full version of the song out yet, cause I know it took them a grip to release the full version of the rumbling. Like it, it took them a month, but I think I saw leaks. The full song might already be out, but regardless, yo, Attack on Titan, the Goat Sim. Y'all did y'all did y'all thing on another intro, but even though I kind of thought we were gonna get Link to Ryzen again, but for the tonal shift that we got when season four started, yeah, it's understandable that they would go in a different direction because it's not the same show anymore. After when, when season four episode one started, we knew it wasn't the same show, and I can't wait to see if there's an outro. So y'all stay tuned for that. If there's an outro, somebody let me know in the comments, or if I if I figure out there's an outro before that, it'll definitely be uploaded. And if you're new here, like and subscribe, man. We got a whole bunch of videos on the channel. I reacted to Chainsaw Man and Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc. So if you want those videos, go to my page. You're going to find them. And go to my Patreon if you want everything uncut and full. I got the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie on there as well. It is not on YouTube. It's only on Patreon. The link is in the description. But I think we, I can speak for everyone when I say we are all looking forward to the end of this incredible show. One of the greatest shows of all time, any genre. But yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.